Hi there, this is Paula from Replicon. Did you know you can easily share key Replicon data with others in your organization using graphical dashboard charts? Dashboard charts always show real-time data, so you can create a chart once and always stay up to date. Using dashboards makes sense for keeping track of critical data you always want to stay current with. For example, you could create charts that track profit for each project, overtime worked by users, project costs, or time off booked by each user. In this video, I'm going to explain who can view dashboards and what data is available to include on a dashboard chart. Then I'll show you how to create a dashboard and how to add and configure charts. Replicon dashboards are shared interfaces. Therefore, anyone with dashboard permission can access dashboards and see charts that have been created. But note, there is a limitation. Each user can only view data in a dashboard chart that they have permission to see in the rest of the application. So a project manager can only see data for projects they manage, and a supervisor can only see data for users they manage, for example. Because of this, charts may look different from one user to the next, since data may be hidden from some users, but not others. A dashboard is the interface where you save and view charts. A company can have multiple dashboards, and each dashboard can display multiple charts. So you might want to create one dashboard for time off charts and another for project related charts, as an example. To add a dashboard, click the name of the dashboard you're currently viewing and select Manage. Then click the Create Dashboard button and give your new dashboard a name. Remember anyone with dashboard permission in your organization can view this new dashboard. To create a new chart, Either click Add Chart on a dashboard with no charts, or click the Edit icon, and then the plus icon. Or if you're in the Edit view, you can click the Add New box. There are six dashboard templates. They allow you to plot data against fields you choose from these row and column fields. Note that you may not have access to all of these templates, depending on your permissions. These are the types of data you can chart. Project costs, profit, billable amounts, expense amounts, project hours, productivity, target hours, and actual hours, payable hours and pay amounts, hours recorded, time off hours, and expense amounts. As I mentioned, you graph this data by variables you choose from row and column fields. For example, in charts based on the time and attendance template, you can graph hours recorded for an activity, user, or break type, or by groups of users defined by department, employee type, or a user group, or by hours recorded for a time period, years, quarters, or months. For each template, identical fields are available in the row dropdown and in the column drop dropdown. I'll explain how you can use row and column selections in a moment. Let's say your employees use activities to record what they do each day, and you want to keep tabs on how they're spending their work time. You select the time and attendance field template. Hours is the default data type, and you choose activities as one of your variables. You can also choose a secondary variable if you'd like, say quarters. Then you'll be able to group hours worked on activities by quarters of the year. This will automatically generate a data table and a chart. In the table, the hours data you chose displays by row and column fields you selected. In the chart, how the data displays depends on the chart type you use. For most chart types, the data, in this case hours, will be plotted on the y-axis, and either the row or column field you selected is plotted on the x-axis. Note that you can switch which variable is used on the x-axis, the row variable or the column variable, using this field. So in this case, I can plot hours by activity or by quarter. If I choose to generate a grouped bar graph, data for one variable will be grouped by the second variable. So here, hours worked on different activities can be grouped by quarters of the year. You can flip the variables if you want to and show how many hours were worked each quarter grouped by each activity. There's also the pie chart format for viewing parts of a whole and the line chart format, typically used for a continuous variable, like time. Notice that each chart type has its own settings, like how labels display or whether to show only top or bottom items. 
If I hover over a bar, pi segment, or line graph node, I can see the exact value of the data for that entity. Note that if you select a date variable from the row or column fields, that does not determine the date range used in the chart. It specifies that data can be grouped by the date increment selected, like I grouped by quarters in my earlier example. By default, all data in your system displays in your chart. So how do you change the date range? Use the date filter available here. Note that all date ranges are relative. Since charts always show current data, the actual dates will shift as time progresses. Beyond dates, you can also filter your chart by your row and group variable values. Note that you can choose whether the filter data you select is included in the graph, or if that is excluded and everything else is shown using these buttons. You can also filter by clicking on rows in the table. And if you click a bar, pie segment, or line graph node in the chart, it will sometimes show you how that data was arrived at. In this case, clicking a bar shows a chart of values for individual users who enter time against that activity. Charts are given a default name based on the data type and row variable you selected. In this case, hours by activity. You can rename charts when you save them by clicking Save As. New charts you save will appear in the left margin. Finally, if you're not content to view shared charts in Replicon, you can export the table data to CSV by clicking the Export Table link, and you can export the chart by clicking this icon and selecting Export Image. In each case, the file will be downloaded to your computer. I hope that gives you a good idea of what dashboards can do for you and how to get started. If you have more questions about dashboards and Replicon, please refer to our help system located at www.replicon.com help. Ask a question in our community or contact our support team. That's all for me for now. Thanks for your time.